In this video, I am gonna show you how to build something so amazing. We're gonna be able to upload a set of handwritten notes from a meeting, let's say, use AI to interpret what's in those notes, convert that to actual text, and then distribute the notes from the meeting to anybody else who was in the meeting. And all of this is gonna be powered by Mind Studio by UAI, who is also the sponsor of this video. So I'm gonna show you how to do all of this step-by-step step. Let's go. So if you don't already have a Mind Studio account, that is the first thing you're gonna need to do. So go ahead, sign up with Mind Studio. And the other thing we're gonna be using is Zapier. And Mind Studio has a fantastic Zapier integration. So first, sign up for Mind Studio. We'll get to Zapier in a minute. So once you do that, you're gonna come to the My AI section and then click New AI. And then right here, we're gonna click Start from Scratch. So Mind Studio is extremely sophisticated. It allows you to do a whole bunch of automations using artificial intelligence. It's really cool. I've already done another video about it, which was awesome and well-received, so we're doing it again. So the first thing we're gonna do is set up the full automation. So we're gonna go over and click this little Automations button right here, and then we have the start node and then we're going to add a node right here so we click that and we're going to do user input because the first thing we want to do is allow the user to upload the picture of the notes and then we're going to click this little plus button and we're going to say create new and what we want to do is allow for images so upload image right there and where it says variable we're going to change that to image and instead of label text this is basically the text to tell the user what to do we're going to say please upload your image and everything else should be the same. Now let's click back to main.flow and now this user input is ready. Next we need to interpret what's in the image and we're gonna be using GPT-4 with vision to do that. And you will need an OpenAI API key to do that. So open up OpenAI, create a new key right there. And then I'm gonna call this notes, create secret key. I'm gonna copy it and I am gonna revoke this API key before I publish the video. Then we're gonna add another node and we're gonna to wanna to run function, okay? So we click on that. Then we're gonna say browse community functions. We're gonna scroll down a little bit and we're gonna find GPT-4 vision right there. And then we're gonna import it. We're gonna paste in our OpenAI API key. And then right here, we're gonna actually insert a variable by doing curly bracket, curly bracket. Then we're gonna type image and then close it. And that'll reference the image that the user just uploaded. And then for the response data variable, we'll call that output. And that should be good to go. Now we have the start. We have the user input, then we have the analysis from GPT-4 vision, and then we need to do a few other things. So once we get a response back from GPT-4 vision, we need to do something with it. And what we're gonna be doing is taking the text from the image, the notes, and then using that in the later nodes. So click plus right here, then we're gonna select send message. And then right here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna reference the output. So curly bracket, curly bracket output. And then at the bottom, we're gonna say only write the text. And then what we're gonna do is rather than displaying to the user, we're gonna assign it to a variable and we'll call that variable the text and that is gonna be the text of the image. And then the model settings, we're gonna select GPT-4 and you can see they actually support a lot of different models, including my favorite Mixtral 8X7B. So you can use that with Mind Studio. We're gonna set our temperature to zero and then the max response tokens, we can use any number we want, but we'll do 1500 here. And then for the prompt, we don't need a prompt. So now it is preparing the text response from GPT-4 Vision to use for later nodes. Next, we're gonna be using Zapier. So navigate over to zapier.com, log in or sign up, and we're gonna create a zap from scratch. I'm actually gonna change my color so you can see it a little bit better. There we go. Now click on trigger and we're gonna select webhook. Okay, then we're gonna choose an event and we're gonna say catch hook because we're looking for webhooks. All right, then we hit continue and we don't need to pick off a child key, hit continue again. And now it is listening. So now we're gonna test the trigger. Okay, there, now it's done. We're gonna copy this webhook right there. We're gonna switch back to Mind Studio, and we are going to create another node of Zapier. So this is what's gonna take all that text and send it out to different email addresses. So we select run function. We're gonna look for browse community functions. We're gonna scroll down and look for Zapier. And it's all the way at the bottom, Zapier webhook, then import, okay? Then where it says Zapier webhook URL, you're gonna paste in what we just copied. All right, now right here, we're gonna reference that final text one variable. And this will make sense in a minute. All right, now that that's set up, we're gonna switch back to Zapier. We're gonna say test trigger, and now it's listening. Now we go back to our application, but then you come up to the top right and click preview draft. 
you're gonna land here, click open. And then if you don't see this, go ahead in the top right and just click new and it'll show you. So we're gonna click here and I'm gonna upload a sample image of some notes. There it is. Then I click next, so now it's uploading. All right, perfect. Now that should be in Zapier now. So I'm gonna say find new records. It'll find that new E and here we go, perfect. All right, so there it has the transcribed notes. Now we say continue with selected record and we're gonna do Gmail. Then we're gonna come here and then we're gonna say send email, continue. All right, then when you get here, you're gonna click connect Gmail. We're gonna sign in and you're just authenticating. Okay, now that's done. We'll click continue. And in the two column, you're gonna put whoever you want to send your notes to. So we can just say team at forwardfuture.ai and that'll send it to my whole team. We don't need to CC anybody. We don't need to BCC anybody. The from value, we're gonna choose ourselves. For the subject, we're gonna say meeting notes. And then in the body, if you just click there, we can actually see the data that we just sent in. So go ahead and we'll click that, close that. We don't need a signature and we'll click continue. And so this is what the email is gonna look like. So there are the notes from the actual handwritten notes from that page. And we're sending it from matt at forwardfuture.ai to team at forwardfuture.ai. And then we will test it and it should have been sent. So we'll go ahead and publish and let me check that it's sent. Yep, and here it is, worked perfectly. And the last thing we're gonna do now is just give some feedback to the user that it was done successfully. So after all the Zapier stuff happens, we're gonna click a new node, we're gonna send a message, and we're just gonna say, email sent to your list, thank you. And we're gonna display it to the user. And rather it being sent from the user, we're gonna send it from the system. And that should be good, we're done. All right, now that we're done, let's test it. So I don't want it to be called untitled, so let's go ahead and say, notes, sender and there are a bunch of settings in here that you can play around with but we're not going to do that right now and then we just click publish and once we publish it here it is it's ready to go we can share this with anybody so click open i'm going to click new i'm going to upload this image again it's going to analyze the image click next okay there it is email sent to your list thank you and i'm going to go check that it was successfully sent here it is right here all the notes from the meeting perfect so cool. And now we have a full automation that will take in handwritten notes, analyze the notes, transcribe what's in the notes, and then send it to an email list that we have pre-configured. Obviously, you can get even more sophisticated if you collected the email addresses that you want through MindStudio and then use those to pass it into Zapier to actually send to a custom email list. But you could do that on your own. So that's it. Thank you again to UAI. Check out Mind Studio by UAI. I'll drop a link in the description below where you can get this AI as well as a sign up link so you can get going right away. If you liked this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.